Patent Agent Preparation Series. I am Prigya Arora, an engineer turned intellectual property lawyer. Uh, this series is for the preparation of patent agent exam. And in the previous videos, we have covered filing, we have covered publication, we have covered examination. And in this video, we'll cover a special section on anticipation, which is read along with novelty and along with examination. So let us directly see what are the relevant provisions for anticipation. While teaching novelty, I discussed anticipation is just opposite of novelty, which means if your invention is novel, your invention is not anticipated. If your invention is anticipated, your invention is not novel. So to get a patent, having a novel invention is absolutely important. That means your application should not be anticipated. So in the Patents Act, the word anticipation or the provisions about anticipations are mentioned in section 13 and then 29 to 34. Here, some are the some are exceptions like what cannot be anticipation. So in some sections, it is disclosed what can be considered as anticipation. So what we'll do, we'll go through these provisions and I'll try to explain what each of these provisions says and specifically the uh, sections of anticipations are very important from the perspective of objective questions because uh, through my experience what I have seen recent years papers include a lot of questions which are situation based. They'll give you a situation and then they'll ask you whether this is anticipated or not anticipated or whether I can get a patent on this or not. So if it is not anticipated, that means it is novel and you cannot can get a patent on it. If it is anticipated, that means it is not novel and you cannot get a patent on it. So with this background, let's dive into the sections. So firstly, we have section 13. Section 13 is regarding search for anticipation by previous publication and by prior claim. So it includes two things. One is previous publication and other is prior claim. So the section of or the term prior claim itself is also very important because it is a technical kind of section which I'll explain what it actually means and there can be a direct question on what is prior claiming. So you should be aware of this section and sometimes the question may come like which section indicates to prior claiming. So the, for that the answer should be section 13 1 B. And I'll explain more into the details like what prior claiming means. First, let us go through the section and I'll read the section a bit and then I'll go into explaining the section. So firstly, it says that the examiner to whom the application for a patent is referred under section 12 shall make investigation for the purpose of ascertaining whether the invention so far as claimed in any claim of the complete specification Part A has been anticipated by publication before the date of filing of the applicant's complete specification in any specification filed in pursuance of an application for a patent made in India and dated on or after the date of 1st January 1912. So this section is simply uh, indicates what? Like in the section of examination we studied that controller refers the documents to the examiner and examiner prepares a report. So it says whenever the examiner prepares an, a report, the examiner has to conduct a search for anticipation by previous publication and by prior claim. So whenever the examiner conducts the search, it is called as search for anticipation. So what would examiner see? The examiner will see what is mentioned in prior applications before the date of filing of your complete specification. So examiner will look at all the prior arts before the date of filing of your complete specification and based on that they'll conduct a search for 
anticipation then we have clause b this again as i told you is very very important so read this very carefully and i'll give you an example to explain this is claimed in any claim of any other complete specification published on or after the date of filing of applicant's complete specification being a specification filed in pursuance of an application for a patent made in india and dated before or claiming the date the priority date earlier than that date so here two clauses are very important claimed in any claim of any other complete specification published on or after the date of filing and then second important thing is date before or claiming the priority date earlier than that date so let us take an example of this for example i have filed my patent application on 1st april 2023 then i have another person x who has filed the application on 1st may 2023 so x has filed the application after me but there may be a situation where x gets into the expedited examination and also publishes the application before me so if x publishes the application before before me and enters into examination phase before me there are chances that examiner does not look at my invention and grants a patent to x so in that case what examiner will do examiner will match my claim and claims of the specifications of x so instead of matching the complete specification the examiner will match the claims of both the examin both the specification so that he can come to an analysis whether my invention was anticipated or not anticipated and if it is anticipated that means claims of x are same similar to claims of my application then i should have a probability of getting a patent because my application was filed earlier but prior claiming just means that in this situation when the patent application was filed after me but it got published before my application in that scenario instead of matching the complete specification the uh, the examiner will match the claims and if claims are exactly similar then i would be given the preference of getting a patent because i filed it earlier therefore it is written is claimed in any claim of any other complete specification published on or after the date of filing of applicant's complete specific specification so it is published after my specification being a specification filed in pursuance of an application for patent made in india and dated before or claiming the priority date earlier than that date that means i have a earlier priority so two things important here is they have filed the application after me but it got published before my application next we have clause 2 the examiner shall in addition make such investigation for the purpose of ascertaining whether the invention so far claimed in any claimed of complete specification has been anticipated by publish publication in india or elsewhere in any document other than those mentioned in subsection 1 before the date of filing of applicant's complete specification so here the term india or elsewhere is important it indicates that whenever the examiner does the an investigation a global investigation it is done it's not that the investigation is done re only regarding indian application but it is done globally so whenever we check novelty we check it globally invention should be new in light of all the relevant prior art which are mentioned globally then where a complete specification is amended under the provisions of this act before the grant of patent the amended specification shall be examined and investigated in the like manner as original specification so if in case there is some amendment then the amendment amended specification shall be examined in the same manner as the original specification 
then we have last clause which is cla clause 4 which is the examination and investigation required under section 12 and this section shall not be deemed in any way to warrant the validity of any patent and no liability shall be incurred by central government or any officer thereof by reason of or in connection with any such examination or investigation or any report or other proceedings consequent thereon. So see, this clause, I know the language is a bit complex, but this clause means that examiner will have a saving. So this is also called a saving clause. That, for example, examiner does not include one prior art or he misses one prior art because of which novelty could have been hampered. So in that case, if that scenario happens, the examiner should not be liable. Therefore, uh, this clause is there to protect the examiners. Like there cannot be any liability incurred by the central government or any officer thereof. Now we'll study sections 29 to 34, which are regarding anticipation. And it discloses what can be anticipation, what cannot be in anticipation. And there can be a lot of questions regarding situations. So objective questions can be there. They can be a subjective question too, where you'll be given a short answer type of question where you have been given one situation and you need to tell whether this can be considered under anticipation or not. So read these sections very well because there is a lot of scope for situation-based questions. So firstly, we have section 29. So 29 says anticipation by previous pub publication. So regarding this, your invention should not be published before date of filing of your patent application. Because if it is published before date of filing of your patent application, then your application would be considered as anticipated. And we don't want that. We want that your application should be novel. Then only you will get a patent on it. But this has one exception which we are going to study and it is in subclause 2. So subclause 2 is extremely important. It says subject as herein after provided an invention claimed in complete specification shall not be deemed to have been anticipated by reason only that the invention was published before the priority date of the relevant claim of the specification if the patentee or the applicant for the patent proves. So I'm stopping here to give you an explanation. It says that in all other cases, if your invention is published before the date of priority, then you cannot get a patent on it or your invention would be considered as anticipated. But in certain cases, it will not be considered as anticipated. And that explanation is given in subclause A and subclause B. And it is written that the matter was published and was obtained from him or if not himself, then any person who derives title from him. And it was published without consent of any such person. So if I want to file a patent today, my invention was disclosed without my consent. So this can be an exception, but it is written in subclause B that if that happens, then I need to file the patent application as soon as it is reasonably practicable after it is published. So first clause says that it was published without my consent. And second clause says that it, if that happens, then I should file the patent application as soon as it becomes reasonably practicable. Now, the provided clause of this section says that even if, you know, you are satisfying the conditions of subclause A and subclause B, that there was no consent and I filed my application as soon as I knew that it got published without my consent. If there has been commercial working in India, I will not be getting a patent on it. So 
it this provided clause specifically says that provided that the subsection shall not apply if the invention was before the priority date of the claim commercially worked in India otherwise than for the purpose of reasonable trial. If there was the purpose of reasonable trial, that is okay. But if it has been worked commercially, then I cannot get a patent on it. Therefore, we always advise clients that you should file applications, patent applications before then only you should publish your patent application. It should not be published in any journal. So this situation, a situation-based question can definitely come from here. So read the section in detail. And if you have any, still have any doubts, you can write to me. And then we have sub clause three, which is where the complete specification is filed in pursuance of an application for a patent made by a person being true and first inventor or deriving title from him. An invention claimed in that specification shall not be deemed to have been anticipated by reason only of any other application for a patent in respect of same invention was made in contravention of rights of that person or by reason only that after date of filing of that other application, the invention was used or published without the consent of that person by the applicant in respect of that other application or by any other person in consequence of any disclosure of invention by the applicant. So it simply means that if your invention is commercially worked or published after filing your application, nothing is going to hamper it. You will be granted, uh, granted a patent. So if any, any publication happens after the date of priority, that is okay. Next, we have se section 30, which says anticipation by previous communication to the government. It says an invention claimed in a complete specification shall not be deemed to have been anticipated by reason only of the communication of invention to the government or to any person authorized by the government to investigate the invention on merits or its merits or of anything done in consequence of such a communication for the purpose of investigation. So be very careful because this section speaks about investigation by the government. So in case of investigation or for the purpose of investigation, if you are communicating your invention to the government, that is okay. It would not be considered as anticipation. Then we have section 31. Again, a very uh, situation-based question can come from this set uh, this section. So this section again is very, very important. And it says an invention claimed in a complete specification shall not be deemed to have been anticipated by reason only of. So it also says that there is an exception to anticipation. Like what can be the exception? The exception is public display of invention and in which cases those cases are mentioned in sub clause a b c d so first case it is say it says the display of invention with consent of the true and first inventor or any person deriving title from him at an industrial or other exhibition to which provisions of this section have been extended by the central government by notification in official gazette or use of this uh, his consent for the purpose of such exhibition in the place where it is held. So firstly, I think I should tell you that we should start with the bottom of this section, which says that whenever we have an exception in this uh, case, like or in the case of public display, it has to happen within 12 months. It cannot be within more than 12 months of date of filing because it says a learned society or published with his consent and transactions of such society. If the application for patent is made by the true and first inventor or a person deriving title thereof from him, not later than 12 months after the opening of the exhibition or reading or publication of paper as the case may be. So this provided clause specifically mentions 
that if you display like if you satisfy any conditions of a b c d those conditions should be satisfied only within 12 months so for example the exhibition is held on 1st april 2023 so you will be given this exceptions only till 1st april 2024 you cannot be given a time period more than that so 12 months of time period is there but the exhibition again as i just read clause a it says that exhibition firstly there has to be the consent of true and first inventor and secondly that exhibition should be an exhibition which is to which the provisions of this sections has been extended by central government by notification in official gazette so if there is no notification in official gazette about that exhibition we do not have a provision of exception under this this clause so it's not that in any exhibition you can go and display your invention and then take benefit that okay i have displayed my invention and now it would not be considered as anticipation because i am filing a, within a period of one year that will not happen because the exhibition should be the exhibition for, for which the provisions of this section has been extended by the central government by a notification in official gazette if there is no notification regarding that exhibition by the central government then this provision would not be applicable therefore the situation based question is very important they can give you some random exhibition and they may ask you whether i'll be given an exception under section 31 then the answer should be no but if it is this kind of exhibition then the answer could be yes then we have clause b where the publication of any description of the invention in consequence of the display or use of the invention at any exhib such exhibition is as a foresight so this clause also says that first was display second was publication and third is use so clause a refers to display clause b refers to publication and clause c refers to use of the invention and all of this should be in an exhibition to which the provisions of this sections have been extended by the central government by notification in the official gazette if it is any other exhibition this uh, exception is not there then we have clause d clause d does not refer to a specific kind of exhibition but clause d refers to the description of invention in a paper read by true and first inventor before a learned society or published with his consent in transaction of such a society so if you have read a paper in front of a learned society within 12 months because this provision clause would also be applicable so within 12 months if you have read a paper in a learned society then it is okay but consent of inventor has to be there it should not be without his consent because if it is without his consent then section 29 would be applicable because this was a section of like without his consent the matter is published but if it is published with the with consent then section 31 is valid then we have section 32 which is anticipation by public wor working an invention claimed in a complete specification shall not be deemed to have been anticipated by reason only that at any time within one year before the priority date the relevant claim of the specification the invention was publicly worked in india and now what does publicly worked in india include in, include sub clause a and b by the patentee or the applicant for the patent or any person from whom he derives title or by any other person with consent of the patentee or the applicant for the patent or any person from whom he derives title but then again we have a provided clause if the working was effected for the purpose of reasonable trial only and if it was reasonably necessary having regard to nature of the invention that working for that purpose should be effected in public so this public working exception here again the timeline is 12 months that you can show that okay it was 
publicly worked within 12 months and now i am filing the patent application it is okay but that public working should be for the purpose of reasonable trial only or if it was reasonably necessary if you cannot prove these two grounds then again anticipation would be considered so it is very important to know that it is written reasonable trial only or if it was reasonably necessary. Next, we have section 33. It says anticipation by use and publication after provisional specification. So if you have filed a provisional specification and you are doing any use after your provisional specification, that is okay. In that case, anticipation would not be considered. Then uh, for this, we have the important thing that we uh, can read. Notwithstanding anything contained in this act, the controller shall not refuse to grant a patent and the patent shall not be revoked or invalidated by reason only that any matter described in provisional specification or in the specification treated as aforesaid as provisional specification was used in India or published in India or elsewhere any time after date of filing of the specification. So if your invention is used or published after date of filing of provisional specification, that is okay in that case it would uh, uh, like your invention would be considered as novel and it would not be considered as anticipated. Subclause 2 is also very simple. It says that where a complete specification is filed in pursuance of a convention application, then notwithstanding anything contained in the act, the controller shall not refuse to grant of patent. So uh, subclause 1 was related to provisional specification. Subclause 2 is related to convention uh, specification or convention application. So for example, you have filed a patent application in the US on 1st April 2023. Now after, fi after filing your patent in the US on 1st April 2023, you publish your invention on 1st uh, May 2023. And then you enter into India on 1st June 2023. So you are entering into India after publication, but that is all right because it is a convention application and your application was published after the convention filing. And then this uh, clause 34 or section 34 is very simple because it just says that there would be no anticipation if circumstances are only as described in 29, 30, 31 and 32. So it specifically mentioned that if uh, you are satisfying 20, the uh, circumstances which are mentioned in 29, 30, 31 and 32, then there would be no anticipation. But we do not have any other exceptions except these uh, sections. So yeah, so this was the last section regarding anticipation and again these are the important sections which are section 13 29 30 31 32 33 and 34 with this you should read definition of invention which says a new product or a process involving an inventive step and capable of industrial application is an invention so the word new indicates novelty and then we also have a definition of new invention and new invention is also something which is not disclosed anywhere in the world so and with that the sections of examination so all club all these together and then we say what can be anticipated and what can not be anticipated but these uh, sections are important for the perspective of uh, situation based questions objectives and maybe a situation based question in subjective as well so that was all about anticipation and we'll discuss further sections in the next in the upcoming videos thank you